Welcome back to Studio D. Cordy Cox here with Mike Cole, and it is time to talk about the AFC and some predictions, which everybody loves to do. Uh, and we are in the preseason, so we're getting closer and closer to the regular season. So I guess it's time to do predictions. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I make these, inevitably guys will get hurt and I'll look like an idiot yes. come the end of the season. But yeah, let's give it a whirl. And if you want to tell him that he's an idiot, you can tweet at him at Mike Cole Nesson. Have to plug that there. Nice. But I think the way that we'll do this, I remember in, in middle school, I elementary school they always said never eat soggy sure, waffles yeah. you know shredded wheat the way yeah, yeah. okay that one works yeah. too so we'll start in the north what's your prediction for the north uh the north it's a tricky division i think it's going to be one of the more competitive divisions especially if joe flacco is healthy but i'm still going to take the steelers i like that defense uh roethlisberger as long as he stays healthy uh is probably the second best quarterback in that conference um and just a lot of weapons Le'Veon bell antonio brown and they're getting martavis bryant back defense is pretty good i like the steelers there all right, I agree with you on that one. The next cool. one, AFC East. I mean, this one seems like a landslide for most people. Yeah, you're taking the Jets, right? <laughs> uh, I, uh, the Patriots, I mean, it's. I tried, I, I got nothing. There's yeah. no other way to justify it, so it's the Patriots. Yeah, you look at their schedule, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, now let's move on to the AFC South. Okay. Uh, I'll go with the Tennessee Titans there. Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, I like what the Titans have done the last couple of years. I think this is a, a, a really good core. I think they have a good young quarterback in Mariota. Uh, they, I like what they did in the draft. They needed a receiver. They got out. They went out and got Corey Davis, uh, maybe a little bit of a reach. And they needed a cornerback, and they got Adoree Jackson. And Marcus Mariota, you bring up. Did you see that video of him with the, the, the fan with special needs? Yeah, it's good karma. It is. Can't bet against that. And a great guy. You yeah. can't not root for Marcus Mariota. All right, and last but certainly not least, uh, the West. The West, I like the Raiders, assuming that Derek Carr is healthy. Again, a lot of questions about health, but uh, I just look at the, the rest of that division, and it just looks like a bunch of teams ready to go 8-8, eight and 7-9, eight, and nine, maybe 9-7. Nine and seven. Um, Again, I don't love their run defense. I think that there are issues there up front, but they, they have so many weapons, assuming everybody's healthy and assuming Marshawn Lynch has some good football left in him, that they're going to be able to win shootouts. What a fun team to follow, especially interviews with Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. Who doesn't like those? Okay. Uh, but you can't talk about predictions and not talk about wild cards. Mm -hmm. So who you got for that? The wild cards. This one was. This was. I sat there just staring at a piece of paper, and still I don't know because I do think there's going to be, you know, eight or nine teams in that conference that are seven and nine to ten and six, maybe if that. I was tempted to take two teams out of the West, or two team, two wild card teams out of the West. Have three teams in the playoffs out of the West. I'm only going to go with uh, two teams total. One of the wild cards. I'm going to give it to the Broncos. Questions at the quarterback uh, position, I know, but they went out and they addressed their biggest need as well. Their offensive line was putrid last year. They gave up 24th percent or 24th worst sack percentage in all of football. Uh, they're going to have four new offensive linemen, including a new tackle that they took in the draft. Uh, so, I, you know, at least you're going to give Trevor Simeon or Paxton Lynch at some point time to throw. The other one, I'm, I'm going to the South. I don't love the South, but again, you got a chance to play the Jaguars twice a year. you got a chance to play the Colts. Who knows what they're going to be? Uh, so I'm going to take the Texans. I like what they have on defense. J.J. Watt's healthy. He's back. He's still the best player in football if he's healthy, at least on the defensive side of the ball. I think that's Deshaun Watson's teams ultimately, and I like what he did in college. I don't love him as a player, but he just wins, so it's tough to go right. against that. Great stuff from Mike, as always. You want to follow along with him on Twitter at Mike Cole Nesson or myself at Cox Courtney, but we are now going to throw it to our good friend Ricky Doyle for some show and tell.